looking at the headlight profile here. That's nice and bright. So. Got the projector set up. So there's optics here that concentrate the LED into a very tightly culminated beam. You can't really see it, but it's really bright. And they have these LED strips here in the DRL lights. It's actually so bright you can see the particles from the wood smoke in the air. Um, if we activate the high beam, it's a really pretty chromatic distribution on the ground to rainbow, like rainbow effect. You can see it's even brighter still. All right, so we averaged 67.9 on the way home. That's pretty good given the mountainous route. A little extra time in the video. That took 37 minutes. Not bad. All right, so now we're gonna put it in a park like that and the brake automatically applies. And then when I reach over here and hit the power button, Everything will turn off. It says this eco score is 82. Well, it's good eco driving. I don't know what that means, but that's pretty good. And then I'll turn the headlights off like that. Exit the vehicle. I'll make sure you have the key fob. And my Apple Watch here. The screen stays lit. Just lock it by pressing the button and it beeps to let us know we're here.
So, this is the 2022 Toyota Camry Hybrid for North America. I'm in Bellevue, Washington. If you wanna take a look, that's the downtown skyline down here, okay? All right, so let's take a look at these wheels. Beautiful alloy wheels, very nice, okay? They come around here. The smart key system, you just touch this, it unlocks, you can lock it like that. Go inside here. <clears throat> to activate the system, there's a power button. You press it. If you press it with your foot on the brake pedal, it lights up all the way. Video mode. I have a dash cam, an R2 4K. That is the 7 inch LCD cluster here. I averaged 74.8 miles per gallon from my house to here. That's amazing. This vehicle has 26,055 miles on the odometer. You can see that it's 38 degrees Fahrenheit outside. That's the engine tachometer on the left. The fuel gauge were full and the engine operating gauge. I had the climate control set to 80 and the fan speed on low. We can see here that there's a giant infotainment system. I have set up a seat heater and all the power electronics are based out of this outlet set up in here. I have the Apple Watch charger and the iPhone cable. And when I plug this iPhone cable into my Apple phone, it plays music through the stereo system. To put the vehicle into reverse, we'll go like this and we'll notice that the reverse camera system activates this and we'll go ahead and you can see back up like that all right and then when we put it into drive as neutral and then drive you can see that we're engaged and when we go to accelerate is completely automatic, has electric power steering. It's very easy to steer. To engage the headlights, we turn the toggle here, and you can see we'll go to a dark spot right here, like this. Watch when I turn the headlights on, like this, they're very bright, and there's high beams too. So if we look out this way, it has excellent lighting. This can be detected on the dash cam, that's with no lights. That's with lights and that's with high beams. So in practice, these are very bright. Um, it's a cooler color than the way the um, system is recording it. If we go home here, there's um, buttons like this. You can go to the menu. There's an audio menu. You can go to a source like this. And it's got a very nice stereo system. So there's no nav here, so we would have to use the phone for that. We're going to remove these people because we don't know who they are. That's probably from the previous owner. So you can go through these different settings. Apparently it has XM radio. Okay. Interesting. 
click sound, you can adjust the um, treble and bass. system. The steering wheel has adaptive radar controls, uh, lane keep assist, radar based cruise control. We can toggle stations like that. We can change the mode too. Because his sister always monopolized the family. This is for Siri. So that she could play classical. Before you start, consider viewing the available video tutorials or voice training functionality. Select the Do Not Tell Me Again option if you do. Hello. Sorry, could you repeat that? Hi there. Other on FM. But peering out at him from behind a tree and uh, later that evening we recorded just the sound some three howls. That he also suspects it shows up here when I'm pressing the button there. So that again, you can check that out in the um, carousel at the coast to coast. This one, there's different screens. So that's the radar screen, distance, total time. Beyond belief, here's these are the different features. With more details on how you can watch, that is our show. Beyond belief, you can head over to beyondbelief.com right now. We have some ad free episodes up there, Richard. There's a seven day free trial. And a lot more. You can see some of the weird stuff that we talk about and do. It's kind of like the radio show mirrored to online television. So check it out. It's beyondbelief.com. Everyone head over there. And Richard, I'm curious. So pretty good. 74.9, 37 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to turn the stereo off by pressing this button. We're going to drive home in silence now. If I <clears throat> That blinking red light's telling me to put my seatbelt on, so... I'm gonna click that in right here like this. It's my Seiko 5. All right, let's have a drive. So this is a drive in a 2022 Toyota Corolla hybrid. And what I'm gonna show you is um, what I call the efficient route. So, this is 120th in Bellevue. I'm gonna take a right here on 4th Street. And then, we're gonna go ahead and we're going past the Home Depot on the left, and we're approaching the Trader Joe's complex on the right. There's a um, Target, a Virginia Mason, and a PCC Community Market. There's a Home Goods on the left. There's a Home Goods uh, Market on the right. <clears throat> Discount retailer, most wonderful. I often go to Trader Joe's for lunch. Now that we're down here, we're going to take left on 116th. We have to yield because it's a red arrow until it turns green. It's Friday night at 11.39, so <clears throat> not a lot of traffic right now. You can see across the intersection there's a Volvo waiting, and we're waiting. Here comes another car on the left. Pretty light traffic, they're gonna wait to turn. Now the intersection is switching. I have the dash cam running. And we see that that lane gets the green light there. Meg and I test drove three vehicles today, a 16 used Toyota Prius, a um, brand new 2023 Corolla hatchback XSE, and this 22 lightly used um, Corolla Hybrid. And we really like the Toyota Corolla Hybrid because of the stellar fuel economy between the three of them. So we chose this one because it was the most practical long-term. If we consider $5 per gallon gas at 12,000 miles per year, uh, we're looking at uh, fueling costs of maybe 
$850 to $1,000. My mother's Audi requires premium, which is $6 a gallon and only gets 22 miles per gallon. So that's almost $3,500 in fueling costs for the same distance. That makes this car more efficient than my wife's 2010 Toyota Prius, which averages around 47 miles per gallon. And that means that this is about 15% more efficient than the Prius. It's also uh, 12 years newer. It's a made in Japan too. Uh, this VIN number begins with J, thankfully, and they build them really well there. It drives dead on straight, doesn't drift or anything. Has all kinds of driver assist, lane keep assist, radar, adaptive, pre uh, cruise control, pre collision assist, stability consist, weight assist, all kinds of. Um, to, it's called to Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. So there's a camera mounted up behind the mirror there in that black lump. And it faces through the window. And then in the front grille, there's radar. And the radar um, actually is available on another screen, right? Right here the radar that's a summary of what the radar sees there's nothing in front of the vehicle so it's not seeing very much but you notice it picks up uh, down there there's a um, small sign that says 35 so it can read the street signs and then it displays them on the dashboard so if I didn't see the straight sign I wonder what the what this um, speed is here I would know that I'm in a 35 mile per hour zone because the camera um, it can detect the speeds. We see a radar sign right there. It says I'm I'm going too fast, but I'm not. I'm going 33, right? 34. So I'm taking the Lake Hills connector here, and I'm heading towards Factoria. So this is the fuel efficient route, and um, or energy. It's an energy efficient route, and we can see my fuel economy is climbing there to 76.3. And um, I have the heat on and I'm comfortable. I hooked up my seat heater, uh, 50 bucks from Amazon. I did like the, the 23 uh, Corolla hatchback XSE because it had only two miles on the odometer, heated seats that were really comfortable. And um, the only reason I didn't get it is because it, it really will only average around 30 to 33 miles per gallon, and that might sound good, but I mean, compared to 60 or, or more miles per gallon, this thing's stellar in terms of efficiency. And I really value that because if we do the long-term cost projection, I would be spending $2,000 a year to fuel the, the um, direct shift <coughs> Corolla hatchback. And half that. Over 10 years, that's the difference between 10,000 and 20,000. So we're talking about, you know, like half the price of the car in fuel savings. And I have no illusions to believe that this won't be durable. The 2ZR FAE engine that's in this is a 1.8 liter VVT. VVTI, variable valve timing, variable valve uh, injection timing, electronically controlled, long stroke Atkinson cycle, 1.8 liter engine that was used in the third gen Prius uh, since 2009. And so it's an incredibly refined uh, engine combined with a 53 kilowatt permanent magnet synchronous motor. And I believe this one has a nickel metal hydride battery, but it could be lithium ion. I highly doubt it though. I think that was, um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look into that. But see, now I'm gonna take Camber Road here, and this is why I call it the, the Batman route, because I'm gonna dip down here. And what I'm doing is I'm now heading east. So I was, I was taking, I was going south from downtown Bellevue. And these are all low speed roads, so the entire route so far has been a 35 mile per hour zone. And so this is a very energy efficient route that I used to take with my Nissan Leaf because its battery could not sustain driving at highway speeds for very long. Now I know this is a run on video and it's probably a lot to watch 15 or 20 minutes of me driving 
part of my route, but I'm going to have to end the video there. Um, I'm climbing the hill now, and this is a steep hill. You can see that the engine ramps up in order to keep me above 30 miles per hour. For a corner that's steep like this, I'll let it slow down naturally to around 20, and this thing just hugs the curb. It's nimble like a go-kart. feels um, even better around corners than the Prius. Very planted, very much unlike a truck or an SUV. This thing doesn't sway. Headlights are nice and bright, handles great, nice and smooth, relatively quiet on the interior. The infotainment system is nice and bright, easy to read. The dash is easy to read. It's super efficient. I mean, we're getting more than 74 miles per gallon here. Um, I'm testing this this route. Um, this is my route to and from work to see on an average day when it's cold outside early in the morning, I, what can I expect my Corolla Hybrid to return? And if the answer is above 60 miles per gallon, then this was a home slam dunk. Yeah, you know, we put $15,000 down and financed 12000 and I have a $240 car payment for four years, or, or for 60 months, rather, five years. And, um, you know, that's okay because I'm going to keep it for more than five years. And I don't want to think about which car to buy anymore. So... The 2019 Leaf was great, you know, but it just, it, when I had a short commute, the, the Leaf was fantastic. It really was. I loved it. I actually didn't want to get rid of it. Had it all set up just the way I like. And um, I just, my route includes, I got to go all the way to Renton. And after this slow speed route, so here I'm still in 35 mile per hour zones. I'm heading up uh, Eastgate Way here. I believe it's called Southeast Eastgate Way. And <clears throat> the Physics Institute is a giant, um, there's a coil right there, pretty cool. And then we see we're coming up on the, we're running parallel to I-90 right now, where the speeds on there are 60 miles per hour and over here 35. And um, there's my local Bank of America. I have another word for that, Bank of Cheat America. I don't really like them. And then we see if we continue around here, there's some hotels and the Nissan dealer. And I never have to return there to charge because the Prius runs on gas. All the electric stuff is automatic. So there's Bellevue Nissan. I will never return to Bellevue Nissan unless there's an emergency and I need their help or something. All right. So this is called the Cloverlink system. I'll leave this in the video. I know this is a deep dive, but what we're going to do here is we're going to take the green arrow and we're going to signal and get on right here. And the reason this is called a clover leaf is there's four leafs that allow you to change direction. So right now we're heading south. We say this as East Spokane there on the sign. So what we're gonna do is line this up here. We see a bicycle there with headlights. We're gonna go gently around this corner at about 30 miles per hour. It attrunicates or gets tighter. You can see there's a pedestrian bridge. As we keep continuing, now we're facing north. We were facing west, northeast, north, northeast, northeast, east. Now we're gonna we're gonna take I-90. So we gotta merge over here like this. We're gonna accelerate, and I'm gonna accelerate gently as to preserve my fuel economy, which has dropped to 70 now. Just go real gentle not trying to race. We're doing what's called hypermiling. So I don't need to go much faster than 52, but I will. So what I'm going to do here is head across I-90 and then take 900 all the way to Issaquah and, um, and then to Hobart and then go up the hill to the farm. But I'm not going to include all of that in the video because this is already droning on for almost 20 minutes. Hey, thanks for watching. I really like the 2022 uh, Toyota Corolla Hybrid. It's a very practical car. Um, you can save thousands by buying one lightly used. Um, they're not in great supply because gas prices being high means all the hybrids are out of stock and back ordered. The, um, locally, here in South Bellevue and at the Renton dealership nearby, um, the Sienna Hybrid has got a three-year waiting list. The, the 23 5th Gen Prius has a six-month waiting list. They had one of these there, and it's almost new. It's in minty condition. 
Really pretty white's my favorite color for a car, too. Alright, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Bye.